portions of our health and physical education curriculum are more than 15 years old. And the world has changed a lot in the last 15 years. Concepts such as smartphones, Snapchat, and sexting were not familiar to anyone, let alone students. Today, we live in a digital and interconnected world where information is literally at our fingertips around the clock. Students have instant access to quite explicit information from unreliable and inaccurate and often offensive sources. This is why it is so important to ensure that our children have the right information about their bodies, their relationships, their technology, and sexual activity. So today I am pleased to announce that we are releasing the updated health and physical education curriculum for grades 1 to 8 and grade 9 to 12. And you can see that this is, this is the old document, or two old documents. This is the new document, grade 1 to 8, grade 9 to 12. Obviously, a lot of work has gone into creating these documents that have to do uh, with the whole spectrum, grade 1 to 12, all the topics that are being covered on health and physical education. Starting this fall, students will have the best information possible, current, relevant and developmentally appropriate to help them make informed decisions about their health, safety and well-being. The updated curriculum not only reflects input from parents but also current research, expert advice and input from educators in a broad sample of Ontario students. We know that parents and educators have a shared role to support student safety and well-being. Through this process, parents in every elementary school across Ontario had the opportunity to provide feedback. We heard from every corner of the province and from all four publicly funded systems. We listened to parents and that's why we have developed resources for parents about the curriculum.